What I'm going to do is show you the law of the squares in a simplified form. Uh, it all begins with the proposal of a question on how to make proper quadrants out of a square beginning with a central point. Uh, then you, you would make a cross and you would continuously break it down from there. You can make these squares into another level and you can make them 5 by 5 but we're just going to do 4 by 4 squares for for the for the start. Uh, not to begin uh, we could have simplified it and done it three rows, three columns by three rows but we're going to do a 4 by 4 it's, uh, it's, it's a nice easy way to explain it. So here we go. If I were to propose you to step up to square, let's call this one square number one on the top left, and ask you to write out the numbers 1 to 16 in correct order, uh, whether you go up or down or left to right, you would write it as such. And there you have it. You have 1 through 16, numerical order, everything looking in proper format. However, this is not correct. Uh, this wouldn't work in nature. This doesn't work in mathematics. And uh, it's, it's really not going to bring you to a whole lot of reasoning uh, when it comes down to unified theories and or uh, geometrical proportions or divine mathematics. Uh, by which I mean if you take line one right across the top one two three four and you add this number up you will get a total of eight however if you line if you add up row number two from left to right you will not get the number eight and likewise up and down you will not get the number eight what you want to do is get a completely uniform number uh... when when you are able to get it into uniform uh, and you could get the rows to add up to the correct value as Albert Durer does in Melancholia I, uh, as it's done uh, going back to Egypt, ancient China, Sumeria. Uh, this would be the correct proportional math to build any pyramid in Mexico, South America, Egypt. This is basically the math for everything the ancients did. This math is what has been lost. Whether you like the word mathematics or not, it's completely irrelevant. Uh, this is something that is highly important to learn. If you were shown this in early in life, you would be using it continuously through your whole life. My children know this math well, and uh, I'm proud to say that they have taught their teachers how to do this math. So what I'm going to do is show you a very easy way to go about doing this and we'll break it down by well, let's let's take the center top square here uh, we're gonna pick a number at random uh, you know what I'm just gonna take number 34 because 34 is actually a really good number for me to show you a trick with alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the number 34 up here on the top okay so the goal is to have every row left to right right to left up and down likewise all add up to the number 34. So let's begin with 34, shall we? So now what you have here is you have 14 plus 1 plus 12 plus 7 is 34. 14 plus 11 plus 5 plus 4, 34. 11 plus 8 plus 13 plus 2, 34. 5, 10 plus 3 plus 16, 34. Then you could go diagonally. 7 plus 13 plus 10 plus 4, 34. 14 plus 8 plus 3 plus 9, 34. If you want to take it to the next level, you could do the four outside corners. 14, 7, 9, 4. That's what it is, 34. You could do the, the four squares right in the center. 10 plus 8 plus 13 plus 3, 34. 
no matter how you go about it, it's going to be 34 every time. So now over here, let's, let's pick out another number. Okay, now that we did that, I chose the number 44 because it's an excellent example for what I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you a little, a little clue, a little trick that will help you to perform this for other people or at least for yourself. Uh, very important here is the number 9. The number 9 is 3 squared, 3 being the divine 3. Uh, 3 is the lowest prime number. Uh, here we go with the threes, okay? I want you to always make, when I mean, you're always starting with this, we always got to get the number nine. The number nine is hugely important. Number nine. Number nine is the key for doing this puzzle forever, infinitely. Number nine is the way to go. You ready? I want you to make number nines. I want you to make one plus eight, nine. I want you to do seven plus two, nine. I want you to do a 5 and a 4 is a 9. I want you to do a 3 and a 6. This is 9. Okay? The other thing that won't ever change, this will this you're going to have to do this every single time. Every time you're going to have to do this. I would also like you to put a number 9 here in the bottom corner so you could square this this puzzle out, okay? So, the other thing I would like you to do is I would like you to put a number 10 here. I would like you to put a number 11 here. And I would like you to make this one a number 12. Every single time. Every time. And then from the 44, I want you to subtract 20. And make this a 24. And then from the 44 down here, I'm going to want you to subtract 19. Making this... 25. Then over here, I'm going to want you to subtract 18, making this 26. And here I want you to subtract 21 from 44, making this a 23. So now, if you add this up, you'll get 24 plus 1 is 25, plus 12 is 37, plus another 7 is 44. Uh, you could pick out uh, this right here, 24 plus 11, 35, plus 5 is 40, plus another 4, 44. Uh, you could go diagonally, 24 plus 8 is 32, plus 5, 35, another 9, 44. Uh, you want to go uh, this way, 9, 26, 35, plus 2, 37, plus another 7, 44. You could take the inside square, 8 plus 23 is 31, plus 3 is 34, plus another 10, 44. Uh, you could take uh, these four up here. 12 plus 7, 19. Plus 2 is 21. Plus another 23, 44. Uh, 5, 10, 40, 44. Uh, it, it doesn't matter how you're going to apply it. You could take these four here. Uh, 24 plus 11 is 35. Uh, plus 8 is 43. Plus 1 is 44. You could take uh, these four right here in the middle, 25 plus 10 is 35, plus 3 is 38, plus another 6 is 44. It doesn't matter how you do it, it will work out every single time. Now, the trick to doing this is, if whatever number you choose up here, if you choose the key of the puzzle, if you want to prove the number 44, you're going to have to put all of these numbers completely back the way they have to be, the way I have them right now, except for the numbers I have in the 20s. Remember, Whatever you choose here, if this is 44, you have to subtract 20 and put it here. You have to subtract 19 and put it here. You have to subtract 19 from whatever number you choose up top. And then in this one over here, I want you to subtract 18 from this number. And then this one right here, this sucker right here, I want you to subtract 21 from this number. So if you choose this number here to be 57 you want to explain, you're going to have to subtract 20 and make this a 37. Uh, this is a 24 because we subtracted 20 from here. So besides this number, this number, this number, and this number, this puzzle will never change.